Hello, my name is Beatrix. I'm one of the complementary therapists at St Michael's Hospice. This is one in a series of short videos that I'm doing every Friday during the lockdown period. The idea behind the videos is to give you space to stop, relax and let go. Each week I like to have a theme and this week's theme is the feet. Now I'm going to show you a whole series of exercises and my feet are relatively mobile. So if when trying to do the exercises you find your feet don't move as mine move, don't worry. We all have feet that are different ages, flexibilities and have different issues with them. The main thing is that you try to do the exercises and that you are moving your feet. If anything I show you hurts, do it less. If it still hurts, don't do it. Nothing I show you should cause you any pain. Now, I'm going to sit back in my chair because these are seated exercises and I'm going to put the computer on the floor so that you can see my feet. OK. Here we go. Here are my feet. So we make sure that when we're sitting, our feet are placed flat on the ground. And the first exercise we do is a very simple one, which involves rotating the ankles. Now, the blood flow back towards the heart is dependent on the movement of the muscles of our body. So when we sit still or stand still for long periods of time and don't move our muscles in our legs, the flow of blood back to our heart from our feet isn't as easy and our feet and ankles can get a little puffy and swell. So a really good exercise to do is just to gently rotate the ankles. So a few times one way and then the other. Now this exercise, because you're having to lift your leg up to do it, you are also working your hip flexors and your thigh muscles as well as all the muscles that move your ankles. So this is a really good exercise for the whole of your leg. And then put your feet down. So another thing we can try and do is we can do foot rocking. So we tilt our feet forwards, lifting our heels up and putting the weight through the balls of the foot. And then we put our heels down and we lift our toes and the balls of our foot up, putting the weight through our heels. So forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards. When you go backwards, you can really feel that you're working the front of your lower leg and your foot. And when you go forward, you can really feel that you're working the backs of your lower leg. Backwards and forwards. So that's a really nice one, again, pumping the blood back and getting movement in the ankle. But your feet can also move from side to side. So another exercise is to rock from one side to the other. So you're rocking, trying to pull the inside of your leg, of your foot and your leg up. And then you're rocking to the other side, trying to pull the outer edge of your foot up. So you're rocking from one side to the other. One side the other. And we can make that a circular motion, taking both those exercises. So we can go forwards, sideways, backwards, inside. So I'm rolling around my feet and then I can go the other way. And this is just bringing movement all through my ankles. And then just relax your legs. So another little exercise that we can do is just to lift the toes up. We can hold it there or we can put them down. Now when we lift the toes up, we can get a bit creative and see if we have movement in our toes separate to each other. So we might see, can I lift my big toe up without moving the others and then bring the rest up to join it? Can I put my big toe down without moving the others and bring the rest to join it? So that's one wiggle that we can do. Not all of us can do that, or we could do it the other way around. So little toes up, big toe up, little toes down, big toe down. 
Or if that's a bit tricky, just trying to wiggle our toes individually of each other, just to bring movement all through the foot and aid the flexibility. Because if we have strong ankles and feet that have a range of movement in them, it can really help our balance when we're standing and walking. Now, often when we get older, our ankles, our insteps can sink down and our ankles can push inwards. And this can cause strain on the inside of the ankle and on the inner side of the knee when we walk. And often people's insteps naturally go down a little bit as they get older and your feet spread. And it may seem that your feet have grown because you might need to buy a larger pair of shoes, but it's just that our instep has flattened slightly. So a way of working our instep is to pull the whole of our feet up and try and touch the tips of our toes onto the floor. This is quite tricky. If I put, do it from the side, you can see what I'm doing, lifting my toes up and trying to tap them on the floor. And you can see that really pulls my instep up and then flatten. Lift up and flatten. Now, you don't need to turn your foot out to do that. So it's lifting up and flatten. You can do one foot at a time or the other foot. And this, for me, I can really feel the strain on the inside, the bottom of my feet and flatten. So your feet and your ankles have been well worked. And it's quite nice just to shake it out, having done that, there we go. And just to allow the feet to relax after all that exercise. The feet have got many, many nerve endings on them, just to help us sense and balance as we walk and tread through our lives. But also there are loads of pressure points that reflect and have an effect on different parts of our body. So by massaging our feet, we can really help the body as a whole. Now, not everybody can reach their feet and it's not necessary to be able to reach your feet to massage your feet. So I'm going to show you something you can do using things that you find around the house. So I've got with me a can a golf ball, just simply because there was one lying around the house, a tennis ball or a squash ball is just as good. I happen to have this spiky ball, which is particularly lovely for massaging the feet. And I also brought a rolling pin. Now, the problem with this floor is it's very slippy and I found it quite difficult to massage my own feet with these things on this slippy floor. So ideally, you do this on a floor with a carpet. So I'm going to improvise and use this blanket that I just happen to have in this room to stop the things slipping. Now, a rolling pin is quite a nice thing. You can put it on the ground, bring it closer to you, and then you can just either roll both feet over the top of it or one foot at a time. And if I sort of tilt my foot in, I can really get the rolling pin to roll my instep. And having done all those exercises, stre you know, strengthening my instep, it's quite nice to do. And I can roll my toes over it. I can go it's a bit far away from my short legs. I can get my heel. That's quite nice. And you can tilt your foot to one side if your foot tilts and just really work throughout your feet, rolling on a rolling pin. So that's, that's how I would use a rolling pin and it actually feels really nice to do. And it's a similar thing with a can of beans. I think most people have cans in their houses. So even if you don't have a rolling pin, you can use the can. Now, because it's a larger curve, it creates a different sensation, but it's really good under the toes just to really stretch the ball of my feet. So that's another way that you can massage your feet. Now, with a ball, a tennis ball is bigger, but something like a golf ball, you can really get into points. You can do circular movements with the ball, whereas on um, something long and tubular, you have to just go backwards and forwards. And you can really play around with your feet on the ball and get into any points that really might benefit from working. You can roll your ball of your foot along the top there. 
and that's really nice. And you can just find a point and just press, relaxing your legs, just pressing down on that one point if there's one point that you want to particularly work. This one is actually really lovely, just on a purely sensual level, that it feels so nice to have this unusual texture rolling on my feet. And anything you can find with a different texture will have a different effect. Because it's a bigger, squishier ball, it's not so good at working particular points. But in terms of pure pleasure, I think this is my favourite. So this is something you can do while watching telly. While sitting at the desk doing some work, you can just have a little ball under your, under your desk that you roll your feet on every now and then. And it just really helps the circulation. And it's just a nice way of giving your feet a little massage. So, that is me all done. I hope your feet are feeling as happy as my feet are. And I strongly recommend practicing this whenever you can at home.